In this video, we're going to discuss about the integrals yielding inverse trigonometric functions. So, meron lang ako ditong tatlong formulas. So, the integral of du over the square root of a squared minus u squared where a is constant will be arc sine u over a plus c. Okay? So, madali lang siya. Kailangan lang natin mag-form ng a squared tsaka u squared minus u squared sa ilalim. So, for number 2, integral of du over a squared plus u squared will be equal to 1 over a arc tan u over a plus c. Then, integral of du over u squared out of u squared minus a squared will be 1 over a arc second u over a plus c. So, let's proceed to our example. For number 1, let's find the integral of dx over square root of 16 minus x squared. Okay? So, para makita natin, gawin natin siyang integral of dx over square root of etong 16, gawin natin 4 squared, tapos etong x squared, kopyin lang natin. Okay? So, as you can see, constant 4 squared tapos x squared. So, dito ano yung letter A natin? Yung letter A natin ay 4. Yung letter U ano yung U natin dito? Yung x tapos ano yung DU natin? Derivative ng x, dx. Okay? So, as you can see DU over square root of A squared minus U squared. Okay? So, anong formula yung gagamitin natin kapag ganun? So, ang gagamitin natin ay yung unang formula, a squared minus u squared magiging arc sine u over a. Okay? So, tandaan natin yung u ah, tapos yung a. So, arc sine u over a. Ano yung u? x. Ano yung a? 4. Then, plus c. So, ganyan lang siya. For number 2, let's find the integral of dx over 25 plus 4x squared. So, gawin natin siya integral of dx over, yung 25 gawin natin siyang 5 squared plus yung 4x squared. Pag samahin natin yan, gawin natin 2x quantity squared. So, i-check natin ha, kung tama pa rin. 5 squared, that is 25. 2x squared, ibig sabihin, i-square natin yung 2 magiging 4. I-square natin yung x magiging x squared. So, tama pa rin siya. Okay? So, dito, ano yung magiging u natin? O yung a natin? Yung a natin ay 5. Okay? So, kaninong kamukha ba siya? Kamukha siya nung, since plus siya, kamukha siya nung, pangalawang formula natin. Kaya dapat gawin natin siyang ganyan. a squared plus u squared. Okay? Tapos d u yung nasa taas. Next, alin yung gagawin natin u? Yung 2x. So, u 2x. Okay? Para a squared plus u squared. So, ano yung magiging d u? Derivative ng 2x, that is 2 dx. So, yan yung d u. Pero, kung mapapansin nyo sa numerator natin, dx lang. No? So, dapat 2dx. Maglagay tayo ng 2 dito. Okay? So, magkakaroon tayo ng 1 half integral of 2dx over 5 squared plus 2x quantity squared. Mapapansin nyo ha, hindi ko na siya tinatransfer ng u at ng a. So, dapat may imagine nyo na yan. Dapat masanay na tayo na diretso. Okay? Now, so paano nagkaroon ng 2? At merong 1 half sa labas. So, nagmultiply kasi ako dito ng 2 over 2, which is equal sa 1. Parang nagmultiply lang ako ng 1. Tapos, yung numerator na 2 dito, nilagay ko dito sa loob. Kaya, naging 2dx. Bakit tayo naglagay ng 2dx? Kasi, yun yung ating du. Okay? So, integral of du over a squared plus u squared. So, sakto na doon sa formula number
So, pwede na natin gamitin to. Okay? So, this will be equal sa, kopyain muna natin one half, then, saka natin, i-apply to. 1 over A, ano ba yung A natin? 5. So, ibig sabihin, 1 over 5. Okay? Arctan, so, arctan, U over A. So, ano yung U natin? 2X over, ano yung A? 5 plus C. Okay? So, plus C. So, simplify natin. 1 half times 1 fifth, that is 1 over 10. Arctan, 2x over 5 plus c. So, yun lang.